Welcome to an example on how to use the projection formula for orthogonal sets of vectors to determine the projection of a vector onto a line, as well as how to determine the distance from a vector to a line. Let W be a subspace of Rn with an orthogonal basis containing the vectors u sub one through u sub m, which means the vectors u sub one through u sub m are all perpendicular to each other. Then for any vector x in Rn, the orthogonal projection of vector x onto W is given by the formula vector x sub w. Again, this notation here is used to denote the orthogonal projection of vector x onto w. And now if we analyze the formula, we should be able to recognize a pattern. Looking at this first product, noticing the numerator of the fraction, we have vector x dotted with vector u sub one, where again, vector u sub one is the first vector in the orthogonal basis. And then we have divided by vector u sub one dotted with itself and then times vector u sub one. And then we have plus, for the next fraction we have vector x dotted with vector u sub two divided by vector u sub two dotted with itself and then times vector u sub two and the pattern continues. I do want to mention, instead of having dot products in the denominators, sometimes you'll see this formula expressed where the denominators are the square of the magnitudes of vectors u sub one, u sub two, and so on. For some more notation, vector x sub w perp is equal to the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w. This vector is important because the magnitude of this vector will give us a distance from vector x to w. Let's take a look at an example. We're asked to compute the orthogonal projection of vector x onto the line spanned by the vector u, where the vector u is the vector three, two, and we're also asked to find the distance from vector x to l. Let's first take a look at the graph shown below. So first, vector u is this red vector. The line spanned by vector u is this black line, the line L. The given vector x is a vector negative six, four, which is this blue vector. The orthogonal projection of vector x onto line L is this green vector given by vector x sub L. And the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of L is this orange vector here. So again, in this question, we're asked to find the orthogonal projection of vector x onto the line L, which is this green vector, and then to find the distance from vector x to the line L, we'll find the magnitude of vector x sub L perp, which again is a projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of L. The first thing we should note here is that vector u, because we have a single vector, is an orthogonal basis for the line L, and therefore the projection formula does apply. Applying the formula, the orthogonal projection of vector x onto line L is equal to vector x dotted with vector u divided by a vector u dotted with itself times vector u. So let's first start with vector x dotted with vector u, which is equal to negative six times three plus four times two. In the denominator we have vector u dotted with itself, which is three times three plus two times two. Then we multiply this quotient by vector u which is a vector of three, two. So simplifying the fraction, in the numerator we have negative 18 plus eight, which is negative 10. In the denominator we have nine plus four, which is 13, which gives us negative 10 thirteenths times the vector three, two, which gives us the vector negative 30 thirteenths, negative 20 thirteenths. So this is the green vector, the orthogonal projection of vector x onto line L. And now to find the distance from vector x to the line L, we need to find the orange vector, which is the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of L. And we can do this by looking at the triangle where the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of L is equal to vector x minus the orthogonal projection of vector x onto line L, which gives us the vector negative six, four minus negative 10 thirteenths times the vector three, two, which gives us the vector negative 48 thirteenths, 72 thirteenths, which we can also express by factoring out the 1 thirteenth as 1 thirteenth times the vector negative 48, 72. And now that we have the orange vector, if we find the magnitude, we can determine the distance from vector x to line L. Let's do this on the next slide. The magnitude of the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of L is, is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of negative 48 thirteenths and the square of 72 thirteenths. 
which gives us approximately 6.6564 units, which is the distance from vector x to line L. Before we go, let's make sure we answered both parts of the question. Again, the first part was to compute the orthogonal projection of vector x onto line L, which is indicated by vector x sub L, which is the vector negative 30 thirteenths, negative 20 thirteenths. And we were also asked to find the distance from vector x to L, which is approximately 6.6564 units. I hope you found this helpful.